Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Friends, please watch the video until the end because if you skip the video, if I make any changes in between the video, you will be unable to note these changes. So please watch the video until the end. Let's go to the week 11 programming assignment of the course The Joy of Computing Using Python. So let's go to the course. Go to week 11 and programming assignment 1. It is named as formula. So guys, let us first see the program and requirements. Here the program is about to calculate and print the value according to the given formula. And the given formula is Q equal to square root of 2CD divided by H. 2 into C into D divided by H. If you write in mathematical terms, it is will be represented as like this. So guys, now I am going to give you the program or code for this first question. And let's go to the programming. So guys, you can zoom it here and pass the video for noting down this program and again I will show you the zoomed version of the program I am going to paste it here so guys for your convenience I am going to zoom it So guys I have zoomed it for you, I hope you pass the video and note down the program. Now I am going to compile and run it. So I am unzooming the program and compiling the program as well as I am going to run it. So guys you can see it here, the compilation has passed. And test cases are also the public test cases are also passed. There are three public test cases, and all three by three are passed. And status also represented as passed. Guys, here we got passed after ignoring presentation error. Guys, presentation error you cannot be considered. It's enough. The program is passed in public test cases presentation error does not count as an error so I am going to check the private test cases whether they are passed or not by clicking on submit button so guys in private test cases there are three private test cases and all shows the status that they are passed see all they are passed I'm, I hope you have note down the program so I am going to the second programming assignment that is named as sorting so guys in this program we have to write a program that accepts a common comma separated sequence of words as input and prints the words in a comma separated sequence after sorting them alphabetically means the first preference goes to a then b like this in order so i am going to give you the program guys actually it cannot be called as a program it is just a one line of code this code I am going to copy it. Guys, this is actually a simple basic program. I am going to paste it here. I am going to zoom it for you. So, guys, this is just single line of code. It can be easily noted down. So guys I hope you have passed the video on noting down this program. 
so i am unzooming the program now and i'm going to print this for output so i'm compiling and run it so we have got the compilation has passed and 3 by 3 test cases are also passed they are public test cases and the status also represented as passed so guys i am going to submit it to test for the private test case are also see there are three private test cases and all showing that they are passed so guys i hope you have also written this single line of programming code for the second programming assignment and i am moving on to the final and third programming assignment in our week 11 of our python course so guys the name here is numbers you should write a program that that finds all numbers between m and n such that each digit of the number is an even number so guys if we take those two numbers if we take those two numbers suppose 2000 is treated as m and 2020 is treated as n then in between numbers should also be even numbers see 2002 2004 6 and 8 so like this the output format is the numbers obtained should be printed in a comma separated sequence on a single line as they shown here they gave input 2000 to 2020 and they got output or we should see the public test case output as 2000 2002 4 6 8 and finally 2020 so guys i am going to show you the code I hope you have written this code for second question and I'm going to show you the third questions program I'm going to copy it and uh, paste it here and zoom it So guys this is the required programming code for third programming assignment of our week 11 in the course python job computing using python so guys you can pass it here and note down the program and i am unzooming the program i hope you have written this now let's see will it compile or not by clicking on compile and run now click it I have got the compilation as passed. You can see this here. Compilation is passed, and three by three public test cases are also passed. And you can see the status bar here, which shows both all the three public test cases are also passed. I'm going to submit it for reviewing for private test cases whether they are passed or not. I'm going to click it, and we will get this. So guys. If you see this, the private test cases, there are three test cases: test case one, two, and three. All status showed that they are passed. So, guys, I am once again zooming this program. So, guys, I hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share to your friends. For more interesting videos. Please subscribe us and keep supporting us. Thank you.